frogs. This one right here. Again, my strategy coming into play here. Yeah, I bet we could have beat Skeletron with four frogs. Hey, everyone, welcome back to the 1.4.1 summoner. I feel like I said a lot more points than I needed to. But yeah, we're back here. We got a little goblin invasion going on, but thanks to a texture pack I have installed, a really cool looking texture pack, we instead have a cobalt invasion going on. And, uh, you know, I, I, we're just getting some new looks here because I'm tired of seeing the same old goblins, even though they look a lot cooler uh, ever since their sprites got updated in 1.4 but still they look even cooler with this texture pack yeah if you guys want to download this texture pack it'll be in the description same thing with all the other texture packs i'm using in this series and i kind of want to download some more texture packs just to you know spice some things up but uh there's not too many available god damn it they're killing my npcs yeah i guess i'm gonna do this get this over with and then we can go ahead and continue to whatever progression we're doing i think we're on the queen bee i think yeah i'm pretty sure you know what i'm pretty sure of i'm pretty sure we got a sponsor for this video today's sponsor is the ridge wallet this light and sleek wallet easily fits into your front pocket without having a weird bulge like old leather wallets do the ridge wallet holds up to 12 cards in cash there's also a ton of different colors and designs to choose from you can choose designs like carbon fiber and woodland camo the team at ridge is confident you'll love the wallet so they'll let you test drive it for 45 days you can send it back for a full refund if you don't love it since the wallet is made from a durable material it comes with a lifetime warranty meaning you could buy this one wallet and carry it for your whole life i've been using the ridge wallet for around a couple of months now and without being overly dramatic it has been pretty life-changing many times i've had my old leather wallet bulge and slip out of my pocket when i sat down either in someone's car or in public but ever since i switched to the ridge wallet i've never had that problem happen to me so what are y'all waiting for get 10 percent off today with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridge.com slash raiders and use code raiders link will be in the description and comment section let's hop back into the video all right while down here in the jungle i made it a goal to find feral claws it took like 10 chests but i found one finally got more than enough anklets of the window but yeah the feral claws this is gonna allow us to auto swing our beautiful whip yes sir so i'm just holding down left click and i'm letting it go crazy this is probably <laughs> the best combo we can get with whips right now well actually there's like there's like one or two more whips we can get our hands on actually i think it's one more whip but uh we'll see how good that is but for now you know i'm more than satisfied with this all right so before we fight the queen bee we are gonna do a uh, old one's army first because i don't know i feel like that's the smart thing to do get this over with and uh that's about it we should be able to do it i hope we do have a fairly strong gear did i make this like just the perfect size i feel like i did i, I don't even be counting how long the old ones army like area or arena is i just do it and hope it works uh, maybe not perfect size but it, it's, it's fairly close as long as we keep the wyverns at bay we are fine legitimately we are fine just keep them at bay uh our thing has a good couple of hits left in it so we should be fine the wyverns they get up a little high a little hard to reach what side is he on uh question what side is he on okay he's on the other side hey focus that right there okay and then we go over here and focus on him where my frogs at come get them frogs where my frogs at come on frogs we need to kill this guy <laughs> Frogs, this one right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get him. Nice. Is that event over? Okay, we're good to go. Old one's army, wave one, tier one, whatever. Complete. No problems. It's just the wyverns always give me a little scare every time. Hey, look at that. We got the war table too. Is this usually something we get? I feel like this is something we get every now and then. But there you go. I'm getting the hell out of here. Okay, I'll be honest. This is a very small area to fight the queen bee. We'll try our best, though. Uh, let's see here. We're going to buff first. And then just go from there. Hopefully this works. Now, I got the lightning staff. I, honestly, I don't know why. I just felt like maybe the lightning staff would be uh, fairly useful for some reason. Because I think it will take good control or uh, crowd control over the little bees and then if the queen bee happens to wander into it then it wouldn't be too bad it looks like it's going good honestly i'm sorry if the whipping noise is super loud um, but hopefully we're fine you should be able to hear me if not just listen harder and you'll probably be able to hear me the fight is not going too bad so far uh, i thought it was gonna go a lot worse just because it feels like this arena just sucks like, they gave us no room but this is what i was talking about with the queen bee straight up just walking into the lightning 
Holy shit, this is loud as fuck. I'm turning this down, okay? Oh, I turned the music down. No, we want the music. The music is the good part. There you go. <laughs> it's just, we're gonna be whipping a lot, so maybe this might be a normal that we have this thing as low as we have it now. Um, I'm gonna dip myself in honey real quick. I'm gonna grab that heart. Shit, I'll grab that heart too. But this, this is one of the easiest queen bee fights I've had. Even as summoner, like, god damn, that was easy as hell. I don't know if it was the whip or the obsidian armor or even the lightning. I think the lightning rod was a great idea just because it, it hit me that, like, I need to keep that crowd control going on. And uh, it popped into my head, let's get the lightning rod. But there you go. Queen bee dead extremely easy fight did not expect it to be that easy kind of feel like i wasted my buffs can i get to another b maybe we can get to another beehive because i know we're gonna need multiple so i'm gonna try my best speed run to another hive okay here's our uh, second arena good enough can i reach that hold on i need to reach that safely and be able to get out uh as you can see this beehive was way too short to do uh do the fight inside of the hive so this is what we went with but this should secure the b set i don't are we even gonna use the b set honestly i have no idea i feel like i won't even use the b set i feel like rocking just a summoner's potion with the uh, obsidian armor is gonna be more than fine against a uh, skeletron but i guess we'll see again my strategy coming into play here if it isn't the frogs that kill it it's the lightning if it isn't the lightning that kills it it's me uh if none of that kills it they go over there to the right for some reason i don't know why and we are i don't want you to die up there come down here done with the fight boom bada bing and we still got a bunch of minutes to spare on all our buffs but i'm not gonna fight a third one the third one is down here there's a fourth one here there's a fifth one here i don't think i need to fight all of those at least not yet this fight i didn't even use uh campfires or anything for this fight i just should have fought it that's it's just showing you bro 1.4.1 summoner it might be a little strong all right let's pop open these bags as you can see i got the uh, b pet nice but what's in the treasure bag like i already don't know what's in it 36 b wax is that enough i feel like that's oh no we're good we're good uh i don't think it's enough to make the staff though so uh maybe we're not as good as i thought yeah you would think fighting two queen bees would give you enough but no we need 46 i think in total it's fine we're not making the bee armor set at least not for skeletron we're just gonna make the staff that's it oh nice hurtful very very nice but there you go there's that i think i'll sell the majority of all this other stuff hold up the witch doctor has finally moved in you know what that means if you read the patch notes you know what that means we can get our hand on our first summoner accessory in pre-hard mode i just gotta figure out where the hell the witch doctor is okay i don't know oh there they are you know i went on my way to mine some hellstone because if we're gonna be fighting skeletron might as well get our hands on the best of the best gear we can so we're gonna be using the imps for it probably didn't need to make that many bars whatever it did it anyways actually no it's fine that we made that many because there's a couple of things we could craft but let's start with the imp staff yes sir bye bye hornet staff before we even got to use you and then let me just go ahead and make a lava proof net just because and also since it's nighttime we should be able to buy the oh god he's all the way over there we should be able to buy the accessory the pygmy necklace is that what it's called i don't remember let me see if i can get over there i hope he doesn't have to be in the jungle i don't remember i think it's just nighttime though yes sir we can get our hands on the pygmy necklace 19 gold he's unhappy i'm very sorry that you're unhappy i need to change that all right so you may notice that i have have uh, some interesting looking imps here it's a texture pack check it out in the description you know i had to spice up the imps a little bit because i think i still look at the vanilla imp sprites and i'm like what the hell am i looking at but yeah we got the pygmy necklace we got it armored too we can now rock three summons in pre-hard mode with an armor set that only gives us what one extra summon and this is without the bewitching table this is without the summoner's potion this is insane like these changes that they did in 1.4.1 for summoner is crazy it really is but yeah now i just gotta wait until nighttime again and then we will fight skeletron hopefully the fight goes good uh until then i guess i'm gonna just sell a bunch of stuff make some money to reforge things all right let's get to it i'm gonna buff up first boom we should have uh how many imps four i think wait hold up did i put everything away okay i might have put some stuff away on accident there you go now we should have four boom curse and we're going up baby already lost a majority of our health it's all good it's all good skeletron you know how it is with skeletron i don't remember what we fought skeletron with last time was it imps i think it was imps so you, you know how it goes we're, we're just gonna beat his ass we got good whips 
we got the ballista rod it's like we got a lot of good things going for us we have like double the summons we probably did last time well actually i don't know we wore the b armor last time i believe so that was what three summons maybe four actually maybe we have the same amount of summons just different armor better armor in my opinion i think this obsidian armor is probably one of the most insane armors to be added into any class like this thing is s tier bro this thing legit is s tier okay we gotta get him while he's spinning boys get him while he's spinning get him while he's spinning i'm sorry if the audio is loud i have it turned down so <laughs> I'm very sorry if it's still loud. I've always hated dodging these skulls. I feel like these skulls, they have such a weird, like, dodge pattern to them. Like, oh my god, this shit gets annoying. He'd be, he be changing up the pattern every now and then. So you gotta hit, like, a weird juke on him. Alright, he is very close to dying. This should be the last spin right here. And see you later. Easy. Didn't have a problem dodging the skulls or anything. Alright, oh, we did get the pet. This is one of my favorite pets next to the skeletron prime one but yeah let's pop over the treasure bag because we do get to see the new bone glove shoots crossbones at enemies while you're attacking so let's put this on and uh as you can see i believe it does the same damage as the weapon you're using i think or maybe it just does true damage honestly don't remember but it's pretty cool so it's a lot better than it was before to say the least because uh you know before even when throwing class was a thing i still think the bone glove was just ass compared to like any other expert drop but yeah we're good to head on side we can get our hands on a new whip the bewitching table the the brewing table whatever the fuck that's called and a bunch of other stuff shadow key do i need a shadow key i actually don't think i need one but uh it'll be nice to get one anyways so what we're looking for for the new whip is just bones i believe that's like the main thing is just bones so honestly it's not gonna be too hard to, to get our hands on the new whip glad they added in a new whip i feel like definitely the uh dungeon needed some progression for summoner because i feel like the only thing you get here for progression is the bewitching table my favorite feature of 1.4 right here i'm being completely sarcastic this is the dumbest feature of 1.4 is these stupid crumbling blocks all right yes sir we got our bewitching table right here and for a second oh oh yeah it was legit for a second we had five minions but look at this hey, i bet we could have beat skeletron with four frogs the frogs man they they might be up there they might be like a tier now i don't think i would consider anything s tier besides like legit the last like summon you can get but these frogs man i gotta put them in a tier these dudes have been surprising since they got buffed all right this legit might be one of the worst chests in the dungeon i've ever seen what the fuck is this all right to end off the episode we are gonna be making the new spinal tap whip which is made out of bones and cobweb bone 42 summon damage holy are we sure this is in the right area bro what the heck your summons will focus struck enemies performs better against multiple targets than most whips and then it has seven summon tag damage you love to see the tag damage so this is slightly better in term of in terms of tag damage but way better in terms of just overall summon damage but look at this baby oh my god i'm ready I'm ready to whip the hell out of some things. But yeah, post Skeletron. No potions on. We. This is what we're looking like. This is what our setup is looking like. I gotta change our armor soon. I definitely wanna change our uh, uh, vanity armor. But it's kinda hard to make the cooler vanity armors because you need like black ink and silver ink and stuff like that. But yeah, this is what we're looking like. We're feeling strong. We're getting work done. Next episode is gonna be the Wall of Flesh, of course. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of setup for that. So we'll, who knows when that'll come out. But thank you everyone for watching. Make sure to follow my twitch if you want to catch me streaming terraria live i'll see you next time